Hi, it's Fook, and today I'd like to talk about my asset allocation going forward as I get closer and closer to protecting what I've accumulated and uh, not worrying as much about uh, accumulating uh, more assets. So I alluded to this in the last portfolio update, and today I just want to share with you what it looks like. So for the last year and a half or so, I've been studying a bunch of different uh, risk parity style portfolios where you put together a bunch of uncorrelated assets uh, in the hopes of minimizing drawdowns and uh, reducing your volatility. And I've looked at things like the permanent portfolio from Harry Brown, Ray Dalio's all weather portfolio. Sometimes you'll see it as uh, the all season portfolio, uh, Rick Ferry's core four, Boggleheads, you know, four fund portfolio, things like that. Uh, Golden Butterfly, and uh, I've really studied them in depth just to see what makes them tick. And I've come up with my own allocation that uses four asset classes that seems to work really well. And uh, I'd like to share that with you. So the four asset classes that I'm using is uh, U.S. large cap growth, U.S. small cap value, long-term treasuries, and uh, gold. And the way that I built this portfolio is that uh, I based it off of a 60-40 allocation, so 60% equities and uh, the other 40% to uh, the alternative assets. So let me put up uh, the back test for this portfolio and the weighting going back to uh, 1978. So what you see on screen is a back test of uh, about 43 years, so uh, January of 1978 through May of 2021. And the weighting is that I have 40% in large cap growth, 20% small cap value, 30% in long-term treasury, and 10% in, in gold. When you look at the Carger, you'll see that it's at 11.91% uh, for portfolio one with a standard deviation of 10.61. And uh, the key thing to note here is that the max drawdown is 25.39%. Now, the market, uh, US market correlation is pretty high with this portfolio. It's 0.91. So it's not completely uncorrelated from uh, the total stock market, but it does remarkably well. Uh, looking at the same screenshot here, you'll see that portfolio two is the golden butterfly portfolio just for comparison. And then portfolio three is just 100% US stock market. So this is what would have happened if you had invested in all equities uh, for the past 43 years. And I think that my allocation does pretty well. It performs uh, very similarly to the, the total US market, but what's important here is that it's much lower volatility and the drawdown is only half as much. And I think that that is uh, worth doing. In comparison to something like the Golden Butterfly, uh, it does uh, quite a bit better, although I will say that the Golden Butterfly has less volatility and an even lower drawdown, uh, max drawdown. So. That's the high level asset allocation in a nutshell. Uh, when we put that into practice, uh, let me put something else up on screen here. But uh, for the ETFs that I'm using, I'm using the uh, QQQ, so the Invesco uh, NASDAQ 100 Trust as my 40% weighting. I'm using VBR from Vanguard for my small cap value at 20%. I'm using TLT for long-term treasury bond and then GLDM for uh, gold shares. And uh, for the back test, I'm actually putting GLD because it has a longer history, but GLD and GLDM perform uh, almost exactly the same. So I'm using QQQ just because I think that technology stocks is going to be the future, but you're welcome to use any growth, uh, large cap growth, ETF that you, you like, and they'll come in very similarly. So you can use the Vanguard Growth ETF, which is a VUG, or you can use the Schwab Growth um, ETF, with it, which is a SCHG. So what you see on screen here is that uh, even over the last 10 years using this ETF, the Carger is coming in at 11.7, standard deviation of 10.0, and max drawdown of uh, 24.59%. So that's actually, you know, still pretty good for a 10 year uh, look back compared to the 43 year that I was uh, showing earlier with just asset classes versus specific ETFs. But uh, this is pretty much the ETF where 
new money is going to be invested. So pretty much all of my taxable accounts have shifted to this uh, allocation. And like I said, I'm slowly uh, working my way through all of my retirement accounts to reduce my exposure to individual equities and get something that will uh, help me protect what I've built up uh, rather than have that focus on uh, accumulating uh, wealth. So I hope you find this useful and I would love to hear your feedback. Uh, leave them in the comments below and I will answer any questions you may have. All right, thanks for watching.